Hey there, Scipio here, and we are going to work on getting our tail boom and tail rotor system mounted to our airframe. And this is the last of the airframe assembly. The only thing really we have after this video are going to be some links and uh, some setup stuff. So, and obviously the electronics. So this is a pretty monumental uh, video just because it caps off the airframe uh, build. So it's kind of cool. Anyway, we're pulling all, all of our tail assembly parts. As you can see here, we've got the tail boom, the torque tube, the tail control rod, the tail boom uh, support brackets, the, uh, uh, the tail fin. So um, just kind of getting all this stuff out of the bags and ready to use. For the torque tube, it's got the link pre-mounted, but it's not screwed down. And it's not screwed down because we, we need to get these bearings onto the uh, onto the torque tube first. So I'm going to slide both of these bearings on and then we're going to CA them in place. Now the manual calls for 240 millimeters from the end and how do you measure 240 millimeters with a gigantic caliper that's how. So I'm going to set this for 240 and then uh, measure from again the end of the tube not the not the actual link. And I'm just going to put some CA right about there and then slide the bearing over the top of that CA, get it put into place, and then the same thing uh, for this other side. So 240 from uh, both ends. And then just make sure you don't get that in the bearing. That would be kind of crappy. And now we can use the uh, screws uh, to uh, attach our linkers to the torque tube shaft. Just get them stuck down. Uh, don't make them super duper tight that you bend that tail drive shaft. But that's how it's going to look. And uh, Make sure my bearings spin freely. Everything is locked in, CA. So uh, I'm going to use just a little bit of this uh, silicone grease uh, to uh, lubricate the outside of this so it'll slip through the tail boom easier. I don't put very much, just a little bit, make it slippery. And just kind of got to compress those uh, plastic arms as you, uh, as you push it through, one down, all the way down to the next one, and bam, there we go. And then once you get those through, it should slide through pretty easy. Just try and get equal amounts on either side. Hey, Thunder Tiger! Tell I'm in a good mood today, so uh, sorry about that. <laughs> anyway, we have these rod guides that I'm going to go ahead and put on. Uh, two of them on. And then I'm going to put the uh, tail support bracket on next, and then another one of the rod guides, and just you know get them facing with the uh, the screw heads up, and you should be okay there. But you want to get these on before you put the total assembly on, otherwise you'll have to take it apart to add them. Uh, but uh, you know it's up to you whether you put it on at this stage or a little bit later in the game. So now we're going to take the tail rotor system that we've already built and slip it onto the end of the tail boom and line up that hole with the hole on the boom. And this was one of the hardest parts of the entire build. It's a really tight fit, um, and <laughs> I could get it almost all the way, but it seemed like nothing I could do would get that fraction of an inch further to allow uh, that little... Uh, plastic uh, tail stopper to get through that hole through both uh, both pieces. I mean, it took a while. But anyway, I got that stopper on there. Um, I hear they're hard to put on, but man, it was a challenge. So if there are any tips, feel free to put that in the comments on how to get that through. Uh, so now these little screws are what we're going to use to attach the tail fin. All right, starting to look like a tail assembly now.
And, uh, and then we've got these little uh, silver colored screws, a couple of them. Uh, this one is going to be used to lock that tail assembly to the boom. And there we go. That part is done. Everything should still work the way it's supposed to. And of course, the torque tube uh, or the tail drive should uh, shaft should spin that tail. Now we're going to slip the other side into the actual uh, transmission box for the uh, tail that's on the frame. And as I slide this through, I'm kind of rotating that anti rotation gear so it can let that uh, tail drive linker. Uh, set into place and then once you get it in you'll have a hole on the side that should line up with the hole and the uh the tail case there this little screw will be your anti-ejection screw for the tail very handy um, and it also helps you ensure that everything's lined up the way it's supposed to be so get that tightened down uh not too tight but it's just through the plastic basically and, uh, and then don't forget to tighten up the four screws that hold the boom to the airframe. All right. That's all tight. And now as a result, our uh, tail servo uh, bracket is tight as well. And this thing is getting bigger and harder to video. But that's okay. We'll get through this. Uh, the next thing we want to do is uh, build our tail support rods and put the ends on them. Now these ends are not symmetrical. They have a little bit of a bend to them as you can see. So you just want to get it set so where that they bend out from the tail boom. You know, it makes sense if you look at it, but if you don't know that they're different, you'll just put them on. So know that they're different and then pay attention, look at them, and then make sure you get them on right. Uh, so I put a little CA glue on these screws uh, to hold them in place. And then uh, once I build both of these, you can kind of see um, how they're going to line up with the, uh, the boom. I'm going to go like that. And you can see just a little bit of a bend that helps them bend out. Matter of fact, there's a better visual for you. So if you've got them turned where they're pointing in, then it's the wrong way. So these 10 millimeter screws we're going to use uh, to attach it to the boom side of the tail support. And right now I'm not using thread lock because I just want to get them in place uh, and on the, uh, the assembly so I can get the other end aligned against the frame. So I did find that uh, the, uh, the bend is going to be the opposite, right? It's going to bend, it's going to kind of tweak away from the uh, the boom, but that bend is going to be the opposite side on the frame side because it's got to, you know, it's got to make that bend to get straight again. So, uh, but we get this battery uh, support bracket there, the battery post, and screwed in, and then uh, now we've got the frame side done. We can move out to finish the boom side. And it's basically now uh, naturally sort of in place. So this other silver screw, we're going to go ahead, thread lock, and then lock that into place, um, making sure that it's, you know, level and, uh, and lined up nicely. But mine did kind of just naturally. And then now I'm going to add the thread lock to the support rods. So with that, my friends, we have now completed the airframe part of this build. So uh, the only thing left here, now that it's starting to actually look like a helicopter, is to finish getting our servos and uh, servo link rods installed and get the rest of our electronics on. And that's it. This thing is, uh, is going to be ready to fly here really quickly, although quickly in my time is different than quickly in your time because... Uh, it'll still take me what seems like forever to uh, to finish the build. But uh, in the grand scheme of things, this airframe is completed, and uh, it's time to move on to uh, to the final setup. So thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.